Hey guys, welcome back to Zelda Warfare and our next campaign, Hyrule Hysteria. See what we did there? Hyrule Hysteria. Clever. Hyrule Castle Hysteria. It didn't have the same ring to it. No, not as iconic sounding. So this entire campaign takes place in Hyrule Castle. Yeah, it's a little, it's a, it's a gauntlet, a battle gauntlet of sorts. So all we're doing is getting the Master Sword and then leaving Hyrule Castle. That's it. Yeah, so there's a change of pace here. Uh, first we have to, well, <laughs> we are also solving this uh, quite complex puzzle. This actually gave me some trouble. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, like I, I was, like right away I think I tried moving in a direction you couldn't move it in. Oh, uh, like, oh I see I'm already one space ahead. <laughs> it, it's not as like intuitive this is not like a traditional zelda block pushing puzzle i don't think mm, it's, yeah no it's just because no. it's a triangle the the yeah it's kind of goofy like which way you push it from or something like yeah yeah so I'm, I'm, i I, <laughs> I just brute forced it really okay did you get one of them in there oh i've gotten two in there oh my goodness gracious i i you know i was looking at it on the walkthrough and then i realized it's kind of one you don't even really need it well other than whatever i'm doing right here it's not one you really have to think that much about, you know? Right, yeah. Uh, I, there's no... Nobody is going to get stuck on this and not figure out what to do after a minute. You know what I mean? Right. There's, you know, people like me who are who struggle, <laughs> but it's it's not because you don't know what to do. It, it's pretty clear what you have to do. It's, it's just... The pushing and the yeah. pulling. The I, pushing and the pulling. I can't just visualize sometimes which way it's going like i'm like why does it not moving any oh i gotta pull it you know what i mean like yeah sure i i had that a couple of times but yeah that was some that was some in-depth analysis on this puzzle <laughs> yes i don't know i don't know if anyone else has gone that deep before <laughs> <laughs> i think it's a, it's an okay puzzle even it's yeah okay. no no it's it's fine for it's not really supposed to really stretch your your imagination you know i guess it's just there to it's Ex cool. Extend the duration of this short segment. I guess you, they could have, like, was that even needed? No. no. Well, s sometimes I do think that not all the time every activity or every puzzle has to be, you know, the the height of game design or whatever, you know. The cool thing about that was you made Triforce and it was big and epic, you know, and it... It opened the way to the Master Sword. Okay. I would honestly rather do that than move those statues in the Sacred Grove. Oh, like that puzzle for Twilight Princess? Yeah. Oh, I like that puzzle. It's too it's too tedious for me. It's a tough puzzle. That, that, that might be it makes, too hard of a puzzle, actually. Not yeah. that it was crazy difficult, but I mean, uh, that could be frustrating a little bit. Yeah. I mean, it was hard, but it also just like it takes so long. Kind of, if you, unless you're like really analyzing it, and it's kind of tedious, where it kind of takes me out of the moment mm -hmm. of like, oh, I'm getting the master sword, you know? Right. Yeah. Whereas this is like, oh, I just made the Triforce. It's cool. Yeah. You know? <laughs> right. I think about it. There's a lot of Zelda games where getting the there's always some weird task or puzzle right before you get the master sword. Uh huh. Anyone anyway, a link between worlds? You have to like follow the ghosts and. See which pet it's yeah. like that's what's needed before you can mas you handle the master sword. <laughs> right. Let's check your, your hand eye coordination of where ghosts are moving. I, I like how Wind Waker handles it and Ocarina of Time to an extent where you've kind of you I mean, you've proven your worth in a sense already. You've gotten the the pendants and mm -hmm. you've completed this game you basically did that dungeon. You did the Tower of the Gods, you know. Right. That would be that would be a cool way to handle it. It's like you want to earn the Master Sword, uh, beat this dungeon. <laughs> so here we are. This is where the fun starts. So the caveat here is we can't use... <laughs> oh my goodness, what just happened? I, that guy struck the bomb. I'm trying to like... <laughs> I'm trying to use bombs on these guys, which I think I discover... Oh, oh, man. I discover here... Um, doesn't work yeah. on the big boys. So we can use anything other than the Master Sword. Yes. Which I guess kind of fits this game because early on in the quest when we <laughs> when we first got our wow that works great that 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 worked the that bombs bomb. on that yeah it works on the moblins but not the darkness 
Okay. We sped it up a little bit too, because oh. uh, it's some of this. It gets very tedious. I'm like, I'm trying to kill this guy. At first, I was trying to. I didn't know if I could parry. You know what I mean? You know. Oh right. Well, that would just use your. Oh, with their weapons. Yeah. I get you. That's yeah. When I got I, one. Of, yeah, I was never. Oh, I tried to shoot. Try to shoot my arrow here. I think. I think I. I was using pots. <laughs> that's that's good. I didn't think about that till later on, actually. Okay. I, I was pots were more remarkable in Forsaken Fortress when you actually <laughs> had no items really. So so this is very much akin to the Forsaken Fortress where uh we just got our sword. In that case <laughs> it was on outside and it immediately lose it. Yes. <laughs> so. But this time it was um forced by us. <laughs> <laughs> So I eventually developed the strategy of let me just throw this thing at the, these guys over and over. Okay, was that working? In the oh yeah, it was fantastic, and it, it it I I was able to get rid of the moblins. This it's just back up, <laughs> rinse, I, wash, and repeat. I was like experimenting between the two different weapons that they okay. were dropping, and uh, I don't know when I if it I've discovered it yet, but I eventually discovered that. To hit the dark nuts in the back, it was best to use their long sword because okay. like strikes like this, mm -hmm. like that, and then but then uh, they wouldn't get hit by it. So I would switch to the, that weapon that the moblins drop, so I could swing them from the side. Oh, you couldn't hit the 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 dark nut from the side. No, you couldn't. Uh, when I was using the dark nut sword. Um, it was like bouncing off their helmet or whatever. Yeah. So then I switched to the Moblin weapon and oh, it man, worked that much works. better. That's great what you're doing right now. Yeah, so that's the strategy I developed after I it was like first trying to hit them with one weapon then the other and it, I tried shooting them, I bombed them, uh, but I think I developed a pretty great strategy. Uh, see, that I tr was trying to throw them, that didn't work. So I, I'm at the point where I think I've killed all the Moblins. Okay. So I only have the darkness, and I haven't touched a single one of them yet. I see. And I just don't know what to do. I'm. Oh no, there's still moblins on the first floor. I kill all the moblins on the second floor. I was shooting these guys, but I didn't know if it was doing damage or not. Oh, with arrows? Yeah. Did it work? Oh. I oh. Think, I think eventually it killed someone. I don't remember. I I kind of abandoned arrows, and I was in a bind right there. Yeah. I have two hearts too, so it's kind of stressing me out. I I only have four hearts. However, I have a I have a fairy in the bottle. Oh, I do. I do have a fairy. So from uh, from when, right before the. <laughs> I just used it. <laughs> oh, okay. Health becomes a factor. I think. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was yeah. I was getting pretty nervous yeah. around this time. So do you know how many guys you have left? You still have a bunch of them. I haven't gone upstairs. Okay. Um, and I wasn't doing. I should have done what you did, like the take out the moblins first. I was kind of just going for whoever was nearest to me. Okay. I did develop the strategy of hiding behind. I don't know how. Did, did that bomb work? No, I, I wasn't sure. Bombs just don't work on those guys. I thought, oh, the armor's off. I'll bomb him. No, it right. doesn't work. Yeah. Oh, there goes your yeah. fairy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and so keep on. We are playing hero mode, and I realize some of their attacks that they do are. Uh, so the dark net does like a jump, like a jump stab attack or something. Oh, it's it's mega attack or whatever. Okay, it's, it's, I'm not sure if I got hit with one of those. What? <laughs> yeah, see, I, the arrows. The no amount good. of experimentation here is fantastic. I, I feel like I know so much more about <laughs> I got really good at hiding behind this and then sneaking around the other I mean, I wouldn't say really good, but look at that. Do oh, that one hit too. Oh, wow, you double hit. Oh, man. But then I go for one of these. <laughs> so I, I, I felt whenever you're in a corridor, every time I swung one of the weapons, it would hit a wall. Yep. And it was like impossible. Like this is, just... although with that weapon, it's so much better. I well, it goes straight on, but it it won't. I don't think it works on the dark nuts. Mm -hmm. I, at least I couldn't get it to. See, I tried again there. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even think that was a possibility. <laughs> I really wish a arrows would have been a cool way to get rid of their armor, but it's yeah, it's kind of cool. So, so I'm my stealth, yeah. So you're you're knocking them out. Yeah. They're, they're I think there's only there's only Did you just go upstairs yet? No. You still haven't gone upstairs. No. Okay. But I yeah, I'm I'm just hiding behind this. I've been, you know, I've been playing a lot of uh, Assassin's Creed lately, so my stealth skills are 
through the roof, obviously. Yeah. Just sneaking around this block. They totally forget you're there. I love uh, I love it. The, the AI is 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 it's not quite there. <laughs> well, you know, maybe they're just mindless monsters. I don't know. So the heart count right now is you're at seven and I'm at eight. Okay, so, yes. So oh, I decided to go upstairs to finish that one. I got one dark nut left up here. There's only one dark nut upstairs. Yeah. But like it's I try to like run, literally run across the whole hall. Oh, hit nice. Okay, see, I tr I couldn't ever get that weapon to really work on the dark knight. But that, now I'm in this position of every look at yep. this. Yep. Oh yeah. It's a you can't. So now it's like all right. <laughs> you bailed. <laughs> yeah. They they run just as fast as you. I've, I've you don't really gain momentum on these guys. So like you have to. <laughs> here we go again. This. <laughs> wow. Okay. I I would hide behind the corners. Did you ever feel you, to get, you need to get the, the goodies they dropped? I think I went for it a couple times, but then eventually I was like, okay, they're dropping the Knight's Crest. I, I can probably... I might get some more. I don't even remember. So at this point, the second floor has been cleared, but I think I still have like seven enemies on the first floor. The first floor was the doozy. Yeah. Now, now I picked up this other weapon again, but I can never get it to work. I, I, I quickly abandoned it. Oh, yeah. See, that, that was really what made it for me. I've completed the first floor now. Okay, I think I'm done with moblins. It's only dark. Like I. Well, those are the time-consuming ones. Yeah, I know. Yeah, this. Uh, the bombs work on the moblins. Yeah. They do. Yeah. Okay. I had figured that out, but it's hard to. They run. They're they're smart enough to run away from them. Like, watch. I think I placed that one, and he runs. I get one to run off this edge here because I throw a bomb and he dies. It's amazing. He he runs off the ledge? Yeah, watch. I'll, I'll, I'm sure it'll happen soon. I place, that, Yeah, did you see the one yeah. in the back running? You'll see him run off. That's There, <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> I went down to check in, I think, and make sure he actually died. Oh, maybe not. No, that one just dropped, but the one will... There we go. There we go. Oh, nope. <laughs> I don't know. There he goes. <laughs> I don't know why I did it that way because it half the time they were running away, but it, it killed them. <laughs> I should have shot him because I, I think I did. Oh, here, yeah, I got a pot strategy. Nope. Oh, you try. Okay, you eventually. I think we've both used virtually every strategy there is. At this uh, point. I didn't do the take. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. I think this is where I get the jump attack because I still have eight hearts right now, but uh, I think one attack. Oh, you get taken down to one. I think one attack does, I want to say four hearts, his oh jump my attack. Oh gosh. I think that's right here. But So do you have just the one dark nut left now? Oh, no, and the moblin. Yeah. So hmm. I'm, I I got a good leg up here. I think, uh, yeah, this is not looking too promising This here. moblin's going down. Oh, you're just brute force attacking him. Yeah, that sword's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I guess since they're vulnerable from the front, you don't need to... Yeah, you don't have to... When you got that, you don't have to worry too much. Now I just have to... Get this guy <laughs> and see yeah that doesn't work and i'm like okay i need my i need my other weapon but then it's one of those things where you're in the corridor <laughs> so i did get hit so i'm down to seven hearts and i th i think it's right here i get i get i get a jump get attack jump attack it's it's somewhere around here it, oh boy yeah because I, I remember being like where did all my life go <laughs> <laughs> what have i done with my life <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, oh. This is like Ring Around the Rosie a little bit, just walking around trying to get a positioning on the, the on their, you know. Yeah, this, <laughs> this became very tedious, I it's think. It's like, like playing Capture the Flag, you're just running the flag while they're chasing me. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was arrowing this guy, but I don't think it did anything, but boom. That's it? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. This is, this was Hyrule Destruction. What do you, I mean, you just gave up on the greatsword. Which, I, I did. Yeah, that I was did. the path to victory. I didn't even think it worked. There oh, we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Four yeah. heart containers gone. Okay. Mm. Well, that's too bad. But that's going to do it. That <laughs> was the entire campaign. Yeah. Uh, th I feel if I did this again right now, I probably can do it in, in a quarter of the time it took me. Yeah. I think I've learned so much about how to combat Dark Nuts and Moblins. I think yeah, I think my main thing is I would I would just go right away for the strategy that I did. Yeah. That would probably cut off some time, but I I felt pretty great. All right, well that's going to do it. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. And then tune in next time and we will be journeying back to the Forsaken Fortress.
Take care, guys.